Hello great YouTubers, welcome back. Today I'm super excited to share with you how I made a simple Arduino PLC that works with Open PLC. By building this circuit, you can easily learn PLC programming, wiring, and build simple prototypes at lightning speed. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new video. So let's look at our circuit quickly. I designed this circuit using Proteus version 8. Looking at the circuit, the input supply to it is 12 volts DC supply, which is applied to J1. This voltage is stepped down to 5 volts using a back converter. The heart of the unit is an Arduino board, which is the nano board U1. And then looking on your left, we have the input pin, which is the analog input signal to this PLC controller. Starting from A1 to A6, A1, A2 are voltage analog input pins that accept voltage between 0 to 10 volts. Resistor R16, R20 is used as a voltage divider to reduce the voltage to appropriate level which is 5 volts for the Arduino pins and then we have A3 to A6 that are free analog pins which implies that you need to condition your signal before applying to this particular pin and then we have digital pins which is which comprises from input 1 2 3 and then 4 this digital pin also matches with the open PLC pins that is showed on the open PLC document. Okay, so we can see that these input pins are opto isolated using the chip P817, which starts from U3 up to U6. So we have LED indicators indicating whenever this input receives signal. Now, if we look at the other section of the optocoupler, is a connection to the Arduino board. And then we can see that in open PLC, the input pins are pull down. So we have pull down resistors starting from R9, R1, R2, R3, and then R4. Okay, good. Now, done with the input pin, we look at the output pins. The system have four output relays. That is relay one up to relay four. And then we have an output driver, which is U7. U7 is also connected to the output pins which matches with the output pin in the open PLC document which is four of them for the UNO okay so the system also have three analog pins which are also up to isolated using the same chip and it also matches with the pins in the open PLC documentation okay great okay we will now have a look at the PCB board which is also designed using Proteus and we can see the interface with all the components showing perfectly on the screen. Okay, we can now see the 3D section of this design and then we can flip to the main page of the 3D. We can also flip taking all the components out and this is how the interface is going to be like without components. We can put the components back. Also move into a different view angle, another view angle, another one. And then we can have a look at the final view angle and then the main view angle. Okay, great. After the design, I generated a GIBA file which I loaded on the JLC PCB website to order for the PCB board. For ways to place the order, the Lali has provided a perfect tutorial for that. I have provided a link to that tutorial. So watch it and then you can place the order easily. Okay, so the order arrived and it's perfectly packaged in this particular box, less than a month. Okay, so grabbing the PCB out and then we can see that it's perfectly packaged so I remove the package now to have a look at how perfect the PCB board looks like okay so pulling the PCB out this is how it looks like okay good and we can see that the finishing is perfectly done okay great so I place the remaining in the box so that we can start work on this single board great okay 
So the resistors, I begin to place the resistors. It's easy to place resistors first before you start with your soldering, which makes life a bit easy. You know the resistance you turn it over so then can start soldering. After soldering is done, you then need to place the opto isolators. After placing them, I flip it over to start soldering. Okay, so we can see it's perfectly done. We now place the I see stand on the board. Okay, good. We can flip it over now to start soldering. So green is done now perfectly. We now place our LEDs into position so we can start soon. first and then align them. Okay, so all the LEDs are perfectly placed. then place the stands for the Arduino board. Okay, place it on the board for alignment.
okay it's done perfectly you can see that now you can take off the arduino blue but it was just placed on it for alignment okay great we can then move on and place the next component which is our terminal blocks So our terminal blocks are perfectly placed. We will now place our relays. Okay, so we'll flip it for some time. Okay, great. We can see that I release our place now. We we'll now move on and then place our back converter. Okay, so we have our back converter chip. It's with some cables already soldered on it. So we'll place and then solder. So our circuit is done now, we will do a quick test, we will do continuity test first, okay, and then we test between the bar converter and then the supply point, and we can see we have continuity at the positive side and then continuity at the negative side as well. Okay, so we measure between the output and then the supply to the nano and then from the ground also to the ground of the nano of the nano socket okay so that one is done perfectly we now switch the meter to voltage so that we can test our voltage we have our 12 volts there which is okay we can then hook it up to the board okay so we have our positive connected now we connect our negative two as well and then we can measure the input to the back converter we have 12.2 which is okay and then we can measure the output which is 4.1 we need to trim it a bit so that we can get 5 volts so i need to grab a screwdriver and then place the positive probe on the positive output and then vary okay so we have 5.4 need to vary so we get 5.1 or let's say 5.0 okay we're almost there we'll try another variation again okay i think 5.1 it's okay and you need to do this before you connect your arduino uno board to the board other than that you are going to damage it or you might supply it with a lower voltage now we need to do our design a simple test case so that we can load onto the board and then test the board with it okay so i created a simple project arduino plc test so my first variable is going to be my inputs 
and it's input one the data type I change it to boo and then the address is going to be the address in the documentation which is percent okay we need to correct that so it's percent i x0.0 .0. and then we can now add it okay we have 0 0.1 dot 0.2 dot 0.3 dot dot four okay so we have all our five inputs and now we need to change this one to output so we have our four outputs okay so instead of i we change it to q and it's starting from 0, 0.0 and then we can now add the remaining one to four correct great we now need to write our simple logic to test our board we need to add the left power rail okay it's added now we position it correctly and then we add our right power rail okay we need to do it again and then change to right okay so that one is also flipped and then we need to position it correctly okay so now we add our contacts Our circuit is completed now. We need to simulate to see if everything is working fine. So I click on the simulation. Okay, we are in the simulation mode now. So I can force it to see whether it will come on. Okay, so immediately the input comes on, the output comes on as well. And then I can try the last one as well. Also force it. And then we can see that the input 4 is connected to relay 4 and input 5 is also connected to relay 4. So if any of them comes on, relay 4 also comes on. Great. So it's just a simple program. So I stop it. I close that particular window and then I can click on the Arduino icon to download the program into my Arduino board. Make sure you choose your correct Arduino port and then you click on upload. Okay, great. So with the download completed, let's do a quick test. Grab a jumper, position it at 12 volts, and then attach it to input 1. Relay 1 comes on, input 2, relay 2 comes on, input 3, relay 3 comes on, input 4, relay 4 comes on, and then input 5, relay 4 comes on again. Great. So all files and documentation is provided in the OneDrive link provided below. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.